This Extreme Foolishness TV. Thank you guys for watching. Today I'll be talking to you guys about Lou Dobbs losing his job at Fox News and how Fox News has been a hypocrite about this stuff. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about uh, Lou Dobbs. And you know Lou Dobbs show got canceled by Fox News. And you know, Fox News, first of all, and a lot of their personalities on the on Fox News are always the ones who say, oh, the Dems are always doing cancel culture. The Dems are always doing cancel culture. Cancel culture is the problem with America. Cancel culture, cancel culture. The left tonight continuing to actively promote, promote what we call cancel culture. Last week, they tried to cancel Goya Foods simply. Yeah, cancel culture. The mob of failures that target people who, unlike them, create stuff people like and care about. Reasonable about this, but that's not what they want, Laura. And I think that this is, I think they're going to find that the American people are tired of the cancel culture. Well, Fox News just canceled Lou Dobbs' show. Isn't that hypocritical, people? Fox News canceled Lou Dobbs' show. Isn't that cancel culture? And I know, Fox News said, well, the cancellation was already in the works before the lawsuit. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Smartmatic sued uh, Fox News, Janine Pirro, Maria Bartinomo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Lou Dobbs for defamation in the way they covered the 2020 election. Lou Dobbs was very, 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 very pro-Trump. Many times he said false things about the whole election, he said the election was rigged, uh, the machines were fraudulent, the voting machines were inf uh, infiltrated with algorithms that switched votes from Biden to Trump. I mean, I'm sorry, from Trump to Biden. And you're thinking, all the stuff has, there's no evidence to this stuff. All the lawsuits that have been filed, in court that was filed by the Trump administration and Sidney Powell and all his lawyers, I'm sorry, Rudy Giuliani. A lot of those lawsuits were dismissed. They, were, uh, they, they lost all those lawsuits. But now that uh, Smartmatic files a lawsuit, immediately, the next day, Fox News cancels Lou Dobbs. Cancel culture, people. Cancel culture. And Fox News would be the first one to say, oh, cancel, the Dems are always canceling people cancel culture twitter trying to cancel donald trump they're trying to ca cancel marjorie green they're trying to cancel a lot of the republicans they're trying to cancel josh Hawley because the, when the publisher dropped josh Hawley from his publishing contract after he raised his fist in support of domestic terrorists fox news said it's cancel culture it's an assault on the first amendment right fox news why are you canceling lou dobbs look at me fox news why are you canceling lou dobbs why is it cancel culture? And I'm tired of all this. So are you saying there should not be consequences? Fox News, the reason you cancel Lou Dobbs' show is because you know Lou Dobbs lied in this coverage and it will hurt your chances of winning the lawsuit or defending the lawsuit. I don't even know if Fox is gonna win. There's no, I doubt it. That is why it's called consequences of your actions, people. Private companies can decide who they want to do business with. Twitter has every right to delete Trump's account. Trump can do whatever he wanted. He can give a speech, whatever he wants to give a speech. They have every right to do it. So all this hypocrisy about cancel culture. I remember also when Donald Trump was uh, still in power. And I believe Goodyear uh, did something to a pro-Trump uh, a pro-Trump employee of Goodyear. Trump was the one who told his followers to stop buying tires at Goodyear. The Republicans didn't see anything wrong with it then. They didn't say cancel culture. They didn't say that. They said it was fine. They said nobody should be trying to silence uh, the voices of a Trump person, blah, blah, blah. But it was okay for Trump to tell his followers to boycott an American company Goodyear. But now Fox News is canceling Lou Dobbs. 
is that cancel culture? And to me, it's too much of a coincidence to be a coincidence. It's just too much. Fox News is disingenuous by saying, oh, they had plans of phasing out Lou Dobbs' show before the lawsuit. Come on, people. Use your sense. Lawsuit was filed maybe Wednesday or so. Thursday, bam, they canceled the show. And it wasn't because for low ratings, the show had huge ratings. The Lou Dobbs show on Fox Business had huge ratings. He's been on for 10 years or so. And Lou Dobbs now is 75 years old. I don't know what else he's going to do. He might as well just retire 75, even though I think Trump uh, gave a statement saying that he's a fan of Lou Dobbs and that he will follow him wherever he goes. But at 75 years old, I think it may be time to just retire because he may be viewed as a liability to another big news network. So they probably don't want to deal with him at this point. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's cancel culture when Fox News canceled Lou Dobbs show? Is it cancel culture? Is it consequences? And if it's consequences, why do people have a problem with people facing consequences for their actions? Just like Marjorie Greene, when she was removed from her committee position in the House. People said it was cancel culture. It was consequences for what she did. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. Share this video with your friends and family. And um, you know, stay away from extreme foolishness. Stay away from the drama. Stay away from a lot of negative stuff. But remember, 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 as always, say no to extreme foolishness.